Welcome back everyone. I've made a couple of these videos for a lot of different products out there and to kind of keep the trend going, I want to do the exact same video for the Apple watches. So if you own an Apple watch, here are five things that you should probably never do to any of them if you want to maintain the longevity of your Apple watch. Now the very first thing are actually three different things that I'm pretty much combining into one, but it's going to be like three different things. And that is wearing it in the shower, wearing it in the sauna, and pretty much wearing it when you're going swimming, getting water on it and all that stuff. So if you own one of the early Apple watches, you know, I would say from like the series zero to the series three, I would definitely recommend not, you know, getting them around bodies of water that much. Apparently with the later versions, they did kind of water certify it. It's not certified, but apparently it does have better water protection within it, which is really good. But as far as I know, a lot of people sometimes still get water damage within their Apple watches. And I had a one Apple watch early on that actually had water damage, but it eventually, you know, I was able to go ahead and get it replaced from Apple, which was really nice. And I actually had another one that actually had to get fully replaced because the screen popped out of it, but that's a whole different story. But I would definitely recommend it. the shower one is the one thing where I've accidentally done several times and that ended up being perfectly fine and I looked into it. And apparently that is something that a lot of people have damaged their Apple watches with is wearing it in the shower. So that is one thing I would highly recommend people not to do. Make sure it's not around bodies of water, even in the sauna. That's a little bit less of a, you know, likely thing that's going to happen nowadays. But still, with all that moisture in it, it can definitely get inside your Apple watch. And especially if you're getting it wet and water and all that stuff, if you're washing your hands and it splashes on it's okay but over time just know if you're getting a ton of water on it it can definitely hinder the performance and just the longevity of it overall so that's the very first thing which is kind of like three things the next thing i would recommend not letting your apple watch overheat and this might seem like oh well how is it going to overheat you're not doing anything with it that much sometimes if you're you know in really hot conditions if you're constantly going running in the really extreme heat and if you're in hot conditions overall this can actually overheat your Apple Watch and sometimes if it's extremely hot, you might even get a pop-up on your watch saying your watch is extremely hot, you need to let it cool down before you use it. And there's two reasons why you should not let it overheat. First of all, you won't really be able to use your Apple Watch if it's overheat because you have to you know, wait till it cools down. But second of all, this can actually damage the battery inside of your Apple Watch. And because the Apple Watch has this battery that you have to pop off the screen and all that to replace it, you can't really replace it yourself. I mean, you can, but I doubt you want to. You'll have to go and get it replaced by Apple. And if you want to increase the longevity of your Apple Watch, definitely maintaining its, you know, normal temperature is the best thing to do keep it room temperature as long as you can don't let it get too cold don't let it get too hot by keeping it at that baseline temperature you're going to make sure that that battery does not degrade faster than it already is because chances are because as you all know batteries do degrade over time it's just a fact whether you have an android an apple watch a samsung watch whatever all these batteries degrade and by maintaining its temperature it actually increase the longevity of these devices so definitely when it comes down to it the battery life is one of those things you definitely want to maintain by not letting your Apple Watch overheat that much. Also, kind of going along with that, not letting your Apple Watch completely die all the time either. If you're if you're constantly away from an Apple Watch charger and your Apple Watch is always dying, if it's always, you know, you can't even get onto the like low power mode, it's always dead, then that can actually damage your battery as well. If you constantly let your battery go from, you know, 100% to 0%, some people have conflicting things on this, but the consensus that I've seen is that it really isn't that good for your Apple Watch or your battery in general, whether you have an iPhone and Android, like I said before, this can also, you know, kind of degrade your battery life even faster. If you, this can actually degrade your battery life even faster. So that's something you definitely want to stay away from. And the last thing I want to hit on is not wearing cheap or, you know, extremely, extremely cheap bands. Now, what this means is that if you buy an Apple Watch band for like a dollar or something like that from Wish or we're at a whatever website, you want to make sure it's a good quality band. And I've seen a lot of people get, you know, not only scammed out of, you know, authentic Apple Watch bands by selling them cheap ones, but also those bands can break over time a lot faster than a normal band. And if you do that, you, sometimes you might be running, sometimes you might be going somewhere and your Apple Watch will just randomly fall off because the band broke. And that's another extremely common thing that I've seen all the time. I used to hear it early on, but more people have kind of caught aware of it and they kind of stopped doing it. But that is another big problem is wearing cheap or extremely worn bands that end up breaking over time and once it breaks it's pretty much your apple watch is in free form it's going to fall on the floor it's going to crack and you definitely don't want to be around that situation so that's another very important thing that i would recommend you guys to watch out for so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button on me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really discount so me so much if you guys could hit that 
Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.